Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so very, very much for being here tonight. Um, it's fantastic that people are prepared to pay what seems to me to be a lot of money to be here. Um, I promise you that we've had a lot of people through over the last three nights and nobody's gone away disappointed. But it's, it's a real testament of faith in what I'm trying to do here and it's just I'll talk about Mary in a moment, but it's extraordinary that the support is here to bring artists here. So thank you very, very much for, for being here and for paying the money that makes it happen. Um, a wee bit of housekeeping. The, for those that haven't been here before, there are two toilets. There's one just out the door here, first on the left, and then there's a second one straight up the hallway, turn left, there's a little linen cupboard and beside that there's a toilet. Um, there's going to be an intermission. During intermission, there will be tea, coffee, herb tea, home baking, and somebody's made me a birthday cake because it was my birthday on Monday. Happy birthday! Yeah. Um, but it has to be cut with a hot, wet knife, so Pia's going to cut the cake, not me. Um, so that happens at the intermission. Tea, coffee, herb tea. There's a blue and white jug on the table, and in the blue and white jug will be cream, not milk. Um, so for those that enjoy cream with their coffee, that's great, but if you're pouring a cup of tea and you pick up the blue and white jug, go, blue and white jug, no, don't <laughs> pour it with your tea, it tastes awful. Um, afterwards, Hamish, who owns Crab Farm, has given us a couple of decanters full of a really fabulous port, um, which he sold for about 15 years and then discovered about a year ago that his license didn't cover selling fortified <laughs> wine, so we have to have a lot of sitting room sessions because he has about 600 litres of <laughs> um, So that's a gift from Hamish who came along on Sunday night. Um, next in the sitting room sessions, um, mid to late June, no, May is the next month, we've got Julia Deans, fabulous singer, she's been here before, just the most beautiful woman with an extraordinary voice. Really rare to hear Julia with just an acoustic guitar, so it'll just be her and her acoustic guitar. And if you know her from Fur Patrol or if you know some of her solo work, she's an exquisite singer, but you'll get emails about that. Um, now, I picked Tom, Harry and Mary up at the airport at 6.30 in the morning. So, sorry, I will just say here, there's a lovely little article out there if you want to pick it up and read it, from the Word magazine, somebody who came along on Saturday night remembered that there had been a brilliant article about Mary in one of the last issues of an amazing English magazine called The Word. And in it, the reporter talks about a, about a 10 or 12 minute interview with Mary, and he listened to it, he recorded it all, and at the end of the interview he counted 185 fucks. So, <laughs> I've started saying it myself. <laughs> I apologise in advance. Um, Picked them up at the airport, we had a wonderful breakfast at the Marinu Cafe, we hit the motorway heading to the wire wrapper, we got tailgated oh. on the motorway and a lovely old black Labrador wandered out into the road in front of the car in front of us and somebody oh. didn't stop in time and tailgated us. We stayed with Simon in his gorgeous rambling old villa in the wire wrapper. Um, we drifted up here on Sunday and it's been one of the most extraordinary weeks of my life. I mean, we've all got favourite musicians, we've all got people that are our go-to people. And I think there are three for me, um, you know, and I've been passionate about music for a long time. Tom Waits, um, an American singer called Guy Clark, and Mary. And the story of how I found out about Mary, I'll tell it really briefly because it's a nice little story. I worked for a very, very, very <coughs> short time for a multinational corporation which was called BMG Areola, BMG RCA Areola Arista. Um, and it had been called RCA Records until some Germans bought it, and that's what they changed the name to. Um, and it was the mid 80s, and it was really competitive, the music industry. It was a nasty, nasty industry, the record company industry. And there was a chap called, I think it was Tim Murdoch, running Warners or WEA as they were called. And he was a nice, he was a really nice guy, and I really wanted to like him, but we kind of weren't allowed to, you know, he was the enemy. But one day he sort of snuck me a CD and said, Jamie, we're releasing this in a month or two, I think you'll like it. And so I, on the way home, I was in the car and I kind of snuck it under the seat of my car and ignored it. And then about six months later, I was at a, my favourite record shop in Auckland at that time, it was a tiny little place in Dominion Road called the CD Store. Mm -hmm. And I went into the CD store and the guy that ran it said, Jamie, just got this in, you're going to love this, mate. And I 
paid him $35, <laughs> I think is what you pay for a CD these, in those days. Got into the car, opened it to look at it and put it in the CD player and thought, this is familiar. And <laughs> reached under the seat of the car and there was Mary Coglin. Um, Tim Murdoch had good taste in music. So I've been a fan ever since. Um, I own every album. Um, it was absolutely extraordinary that Mary agreed to be here. Two years ago, with the band she's playing with tonight and one other, she filled the Sydney Opera House. Last Saturday night, she filled the, what's it called, Transitional Cardboard Cathedral in Christchurch with 650 people. It's absolutely extraordinary that she has agreed to be here tonight. She brings with her two of New Zealand's finest musicians, and that's not an overstatement, Tom Rainey on piano, Harry Harrison on guitar. Ladies and gentlemen, please give a huge welcome to Mary Thompson. Close, close people. Here, have to. Too fucking cozy. So, <laughs> um, so I've been kind of uh, standing up and sitting down uh, for the past three nights, <coughs> and I think it's better sitting down. <laughs> I don't know why. Just better sitting down. So what are we doing now? Yeah, this is a song about a menage a trois. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> the same. How about sticking around? The place was dark, the band played loud, his voice sounded kind of kind. He said, well, who's that guy with the funny smile? I said, he's just a friend of mine. Just a friend of mine Good, you're all okay. <laughs> we just had uh, dinner um, at some uh, lovely place. What was it called? 
Garden and Pip's Pippa's place. Pip, where are we? <laughs> Down there. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Pia, sorry. I had another Pippa the other night. Pia, <laughs> Gordon and Pippa. <clears throat> we don't normally eat dessert, but we did tonight, uh, just before we came out, so we'll be fine, though. <laughs> this is a song that was written by my first ex-husband. And uh, I didn't sing it for years, because every time I sing it, he gets fucking paid for it, so... Uh... <laughs> but my daughter, Alwyn, uh, who's 37, about three years ago, she bought me a book called Fuck It. Um, by a, I'm serious. By a man called John Parkin in, um, in England. And it's about letting go and you know, forgiveness and all that shit. So um, I read the book and then I started to go to Fuck It weekends. Um, and retreats they have in Italy. Um, um, they even give me a free one because I talk about it all the time. So... You just do a bit of this and a bit of that, so nothing really. But, anyways, I sing the song now and we all get paid, so. <laughs> Sorry, Tom, just waiting for me to fucking start. <laughs> I wake up in the morning, I get out of bed and drag my makeup on. I walk out on the streets, my every exit covered. I hitch up my pants, I fake it just like a man. Every hold I had on time, every dream I thought was mine, well, it's all quite forgotten now. I'm lost without. The double cross of you Like my coffee I've grown cold I stay behind and fade into the wall I'm lost amongst the jostling crowds at lunchtime I'm hoping you'll come, but I know that you won't even call Every hold I had on time Every dream I thought was mine Well, it's all quite forgotten now I'm lost without the double cross of you
quite forgotten now. Yo. <clears throat> The bastard wrote a good song, didn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Don't get us started. <laughs> well, anyways, you know, time has passed. I've had a second ex-husband and a few <coughs> sort of oddballs in between. And uh, I, I, um, I've been working with a guy called Eric Visser for more than 30 uh, years. Um, the only man I've never actually fallen out with long term, but we never fucking lived together. So, was, but, <coughs> but we did make some uh, lots of records. And uh, he has, um, we made a CD together last year in my house in Dublin in the winter and uh, he has Parkinson's disease and he's probably one of the best guitar players, apart from Famous, Harry, uh, oh, well. apart from, uh, that goes without saying, <laughs> that I've ever met and um, so it's kind of, uh, <coughs> it was really painful and difficult to, uh, to watch him, um, you know, going all over the place and he said if I do this it doesn't I, I, he doesn't know that he does it his arms move involuntarily but when he holds on to the guitar he can fucking play so um we did the album in my house and it started off to be an album of other people's songs that I'd been collecting and writing on my fridge for about two years you know like I want to do that song and I want to do this song. <coughs> so when he came in uh, January we decided oh, fuck it we'll write a whole new album <laughs> So we wrote songs. So that was a new departure for us. So this is a song about the first sex husband, I suppose, really, that I wrote about, you know, when you think, what if? What if we had stayed together? And what if I hadn't started singing? Because I was 30 when I started to sing. And um, it was I had three small children at the time. So you just wonder, like, what might have happened if I'd, I'd probably be fucking, he'd be dead or I'd be dead. <laughs> Anyway, uh, this is a this is a song from the new CD, and of course the new CD. We made two hundred copies uh, just to bring to New Zealand. It doesn't come out until the first of June in Ireland, and Christmas is always coming. <laughs> so um, we have some copies outside, and uh, here we go. <laughs>
to drink except for the odd wedding. The relief as we thought the kids would never settle. You enjoyed the flying lessons, you didn't do the parachute jump. The voucher on the dresser is almost out of date. We go to funerals of the people that we know. He passed away waving his fist at some TD on the late, late show. And I'm wondering how this story would unfurl in another time. In another place, in another world In another time, in another place, in another world In another time, in another place, in another world dog comes in and just tends to move around and fart. Where's the dog? Yeah, what? The dog. Look. That was the dog. Ted is the dog then. She's been, she's been at all the gigs. He has been at all the gigs. Anyway, um, so this is, we'll, we'll do a couple of other songs from the new CD and then I'll do some stuff from um, other CDs. So, um, <laughs> There's a man that um, I've known for a good many years. His name is Mark Nevin, and he wrote um, he wrote some songs for me years ago. <clears throat> but he was more famous for having a band called Fairground Attraction, and they wrote "It's Got to Be." Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> so while I was actually in the house doing this album, he sent me two very fine songs, and um, Mark and I share um, some uh, kind of sad things in our life. He had a son. And his wife uh, went to America and kind of disappearing act on him uh, with their son when the kid was about uh, two and he didn't see him for 16 years. And uh, I have a son who went uh, mostly to spend most time with his father after we split up. And so the kids were born on the same day, the same year, at almost the same time. So every Christmas and birthday comes around and uh, we'd send each other texts and emails and say how fucking miserable we were. So, uh, <laughs> this is a song about that. <laughs> calendar when there's blood spills on the map always ours to remember those days we never had I know we'll never be together and I know we'll never be apart yeah, we're made of each other A river flows between our hearts It's blood Blood These nights go on forever And that's so hard when it's dark it's not far from the cradle to the cemetery Oh no, it's not very far I dreamed you came to visit me Like a ghost at the foot of my bed I can't sleep, something is haunting me Something is haunting my veins, it's blood Broken hearts Bro 
stars on the calendar When there's blood spills on the map Always ours to remember those Days we never had I know we'll never be together But I know we'll never be apart yeah, we're made of each other A river flows between our hearts A river flows between our hearts A river flows between our hearts Oh, okay. This next one is about growing up in Galway, and uh, remember, did you, did you notice the UCG? Um, sometimes people don't recognise uh, places or things that I sing about, but Tom down the back there. Um, I recognise it. I, I recognised an Irish accent when I heard one the other morning. We were having a cup of coffee, so he's there with his uh, wife Anna, who um, who knew me from fucking years ago. So how weird is that? <laughs> Come to yeah. Napier. Anyway, um, this is about growing up in Galway and doing all the wrong things and ended up in serious amounts of trouble and like doing loads of acid and uh, <coughs> hanging around with boys and stuff like that and ending up in a mental hospital in Ballinasloe Slough when I was 16, um, which was the most horrific fucking place uh, that you could possibly think of with humongous big doors and filled with the smell of cabbage and piss and old women and men and there was a woman there called Madeline and she used to roll up the newspaper and smoke it. <laughs> <laughs> Serious. So that was uh, one place I didn't really want to go back to. So, uh, anyways, here's the song about all of that. Things you remember, right? Of a soul who's right for wrong A tortured vigilante Who will never lose the view A starry-eyed young woman Singing songs of what she knew From hopscotch to tonsil hockey Skipping rope to skipping school Playing marbles, losing marbles Breaking all the rules Then opening up a door and opening up a mind I caught a glimpse of heaven And it didn't leave me blind I did not lose my mind For a moment here A moment there I thought my troubles were over wine and roses but I hadn't seen this and I hadn't felt that I hadn't laughed till I cried tears just acting the maggot I hadn't done that for a donkey's A song, a cacophony of cannon that I knew all along, a hazy recollection of a long gone long ago when a thirst for misadventure landed me in Ballina Slope. Methinks it lasts an ear to share eye opening facts. But the doctor took one look at me And he told my mother that I was cracked And he sharpened all his pencils 
He laid Azure or short test. He said, Never mind, never mind. This is for the best. This is for the best. For a moment here. Troubles were over. I didn't have a care. My days were filled with wine and roses, but I hadn't seen this and I hadn't felt that. I hadn't laughed till I cried tears. Just acting the maggot. I hadn't done that for donkey's years. So this one's kind of a bit more cheerful ish and. Uh, <laughs> And then we do some uh, other songs from other CDs. Um, if there's anything in particular you want to hear, if you've ever heard of me before, you can shout out and uh, we'll attempt to do it. So, uh, this is my uh, homage to Jim Marfin. My daughter wants to have a picture of me and Jim Marfin in her bedroom at one stage. friend in my room my father kicked him down the stairs and my mother crossed herself in prayer and all the while the music played a soundtrack sweet for getting laid the scenario in racking rooms just because they came home too soon my husband came home too soon He found me playing in our bedroom My innocence I did protest Ridiculous I was half-dressed I was singing baby like my fire As if things weren't already you could cut the tension in the room Just because He came to sleep <laughs> yeah. Take over there, Tom Sad eyes and said they were. 
fed up with life Although it now seems far away I will not forget the day The bottle spinning round the room Just because They came home too soon The Son of God came too soon It came to me one afternoon All the macho institutions Misogyny and prostitution Might not exist if he had waited For the age of information Two thousand years ago one blue moon he came to soon. He came to soon. He came to soon. Oh, yeah. Now what we'll do. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> when I recorded this song, um, we were in a man's house the other day and he had um hi he has well you he tells the story, James. He he deals in hi fi and um hi fi equipment and um this is the song that he uses as a kind of a Demonstration. Demonstration to people how good or how shit their hi-fi systems are, but how good the ones he sells are, which is very strange because when I recorded this song in 1984, <clears throat> it was a song that I heard a guy called Leon Redbone singing, oh, excellent. and I wanted to do it with just the double bass, and um, there were no double basses in Galway except one double bass that was owned by the Jesuits. <laughs> There was a big crack down the middle of the back of it, and uh, so it, did, it sounded like absolute appalling stuff. And we met a guy in a... Nobody knew how to play the double bass either, that was the other thing. <laughs> <laughs> so it just, just the way life kind of is weird, we were, all, we were talking about the album and we were in a pub in Galway called Nocton's. And there was a guy with um, curly blonde hair and little granny glasses and... He was sitting smoking a cigarette because you could do that in 1984 and having a pint. And we were talking, <coughs> Eric and everyone that was involved in this first CD, <coughs> about the song and how a double bass would be great. I'm a double bass player, he said. And uh, I said, really? And he said, yeah, I play with a guy called Jonathan Richman and the Modern Lovers. <laughs> and his name was Greg Curley Kernan. So I went home and fucking looked at all the Jonathan Richmond albums I had, and sure enough, there he was. <coughs> so, anyway, so fast forward a week or two later, your man decides to stay in Galway to play the double bass on the CD. So Eric is in the studio, laying on the ground with his legs and arms around the double bass, holding it together because of the crack. And your man is trying to play the double bass. <laughs> And it's just very strange that I hear that somebody uses this as an example of a wonderful <laughs> recording. <laughs> so we have no double bass tonight either. I want to be seduced. I want a man 
to take me out to dinner I'd like to see his eyes get moody Thinking about the thought of what flirting's gonna do I want him to be real cool I want him to think about getting me right into bed Have a chat about wearing condoms Don't flutter my heartstrings Jesus Mary, that thing won't fit me He said, I might demur politely But very slightly If he tried to fondle my knee But I'm relatively certain I'd compromise if I know me I want to be seduced I want a man to talk to me suggestively I'd like to hear him say he'll be with me tomorrow morning Drinking a jasmine tea I want him to make me laugh I want him to make a point of touching me When we talk Leaving all the jealous boys At the bar To mumble in their beer and gawk You know it only happens When I'm napping Or nodding in But I wouldn't mind a man who wouldn't mind seducing Right from the manners that we'd been introduced How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't mind a man who wouldn't mind seducing me <laughs> We've really enjoyed our, our time in Napier. We've been here for ages, and Harry bought a new pedal for it. What, his guitar. Is he going to use it tonight? Well, it doesn't do a whole lot, but it's, it's, it's shiny. <laughs> and I went to a woman this morning. They, Tom had a massage, um, Thai oh. massage for what's her name? De I can't remember. I don't know. Really? What? In it's up the road from your place, Tom. Ellison Street. Ellison Street, yeah. Yes. Really wonderful. Uh, old, quite an old woman. I'm, I'm sure she's quite old. So she's, <laughs> oh, she's 60? Yeah. Okay. Well, she... We got to that level. So. <laughs> level of intimacy, okay. So, uh, she, she, Tom, had, Tom had a great time and then Harry went yesterday yeah. and he came back like a new man and then I said, fuck it, I'll give her a go. So, uh, <laughs> I went up there this morning and, and uh, I walked in and she said, oh, you're very tired. And I said, I am. And she asked me, to, could she see my hand? So she kind of did that there, and then she felt my pulse, and then, can I see the other hand? And she went like that, and I said, ah, oh, your kidneys are not working very well. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, funny, they're not. <laughs> so she hopped me, I, she, I had booked in for a half hour for me back. And uh, she said, we need extra half hour for work on your kidneys. So I was there, and I was in the back, and she said, you've had an accident. And I said, yeah. She said, recently. And I said, yeah. We got fucking rear-ended coming up from Wellington. <laughs> and she could feel it in my back. It's like, she's extraordinary. So then she turned me over and then she actually got up and put her knee into my kidneys here. And she started moving them all around. And boy, did I feel that. So I feel great now. <laughs> Believable. And I said, can I come back tomorrow? She said, no, you can't come back for a week. I said, well, I won't be here. She said, you need to come and live with me in Thailand for three months and I'll have you like a young woman again. <laughs> I said, I said, okay, that sounds like a proposition. So she goes there apparently for the winter. Anyway, so he bought a pedal. We've had massages. What did you do? I think it was jewelry shopping. Yeah, yeah. Went to the museum. Museum was good. Um, yeah. And there's the rain. Slipped in. Slipped? Is that right? Yeah. 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 Slipped in until 10 o'clock. Slipped well, in until 10 o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> a nice little touch that I like. What? A nice little touch that I like, because I'd mentioned the museum, <coughs> the movie about the earthquake, and I kind of hadn't made the connection for Tom and Harry. Yeah, and Harry was saying, yeah. Harry was saying he went and was sitting watching the movie, yeah. and the yeah, tears were just flowing down his face watching that. Yeah. 
little Lazarus like earthquake movie. Yeah. Let's yeah. not go there now. No, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> it's more miserable songs. It's more miserable songs. <laughs> Anyways, we've thoroughly enjoyed our, our time in Napier and thank Jamie for inviting us. And um, it's just been a great, been beautiful weather, wandering around, having coffee in Thomas Place. So I'm down in the morning for breakfast, bro. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, and uh, we've met uh, people at Jamie's birthday party. Their names escape me right now, but they'll come back. And we had dinner. And we've had lots of dinners and lots of births. Actually, we're having another birthday cake later. Mm -hmm. So, um, there you go. We're not leaving now. I just thought I'd get that. <laughs> I often forget to say some things, believe it or not. Each time I see a crowd of people Just like a fool I'll stop and stare It's really not the place to look for you But maybe You'll be there I go walking after midnight Along a lonely thoroughfare It's really not the time to look for you But maybe you'll be there you said your arms would always hold me You said your lips were mine alone to kiss Now after all the things you told me On the stairs With anxious heart I'll hurry To the door And maybe You'll be there Half of the show, because um, I know you all want to go out and have coffee and 
wine and cake and tea and stuff. And um, this is a song, that was a song that um, somebody sent me on a cassette years ago. We were talking about cassettes and, and records earlier. And um, I have a suitcase, two suitcases full, filled, full, filled, full of cassettes. Full. <coughs> <laughs> full of cassettes Philip. the people have sent me um, over the past 30 years songs they've written themselves or cassettes that they think I might be interested in and I just can't throw them out you know I have a whole fucking room of CDs I don't listen to anymore but I can't throw them out either and I know that all those digital things will <coughs> stop working so I'm hanging on to everything just in case <coughs> anyway uh, somebody sent me that song um, and it was Billie Holiday um, singing on a radio interview and um she was, uh, what's his name, that really famous piano player? Not Drew Hill, too. Anyways, it doesn't matter. <coughs> no. No. <coughs> no, somebody else. It doesn't really matter. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a song that uh, she wrote herself. Um, and, um, oh, we can guess this. What? We can guess this. We can guess this. No, I'll <laughs> fuck her and figure it out. Don't <laughs> I'll be out there on my phone now at half, half time, googling away. Anyways, um, this, this is a blues that you wrote yourself. It's about men, but it's faster. <laughs> He squawked about my supper. He put me outdoors. He had a nerve to lay a matchbox to my clothes. Well, I didn't have too many, but I had a long, long way to go. Boys. 
and my hair ain't curled. But my mama gave me something that's gonna carry me through the world. Some think I'm snappy Others call me honey They think that I have money So then I believe Baby, you were built for speed Well, when you put that all together Makes me everything a girl coming back or not, is leaving me we went to <coughs> shit I better shut up <coughs> the A to Z of um, jazz pianists in the 50s I played with Billy Holiday and Who there was he was Bill Evans ah. Bill. they would have known he played with Billy Holiday what 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 okay what would you like to hear anyone you ain't my time. I'm not doing any more of those. Oh, yeah, we're doing lots of those. Okay, here we go. Come on, Harry. This is a song about swimming without your knickers on in Galway. <coughs> we had a couple of strange bishops in Galway when I was growing up. One of them was called Damon Casey, and he had a child <coughs> aged 17 before he decided to tell the rest of us. And then um, we had another one who banned two-piece swimming costumes on women in the diocese. And nobody was allowed to wear a bikini and they became very fashionable in the 60s. <clears throat> so he saw a young lady wearing a bikini one morning on the beach after mass. And he said, my dear, did you know that the two-piece swimming costume was banned in the diocese of Galway? And she said, well, which bit would you like me to take off? <laughs> I said the song is too fast and he was playing the wrong song. Oh, yeah. Let's do it again. Oh, it's hard to find the good help these days. One, two, to do, but still 
he wouldn't go He stood and watched the show Sitting at the bar Having had a lot to drink And I was talking to this guy He'd only just come in, I think And my head was spinning around And when I tried to go Well, he stood and watched the show don't probably uh, well I'll t I used to drink an awful lot like a lot by even most people's standards three or four bottles of vodka a day <coughs> and um, I would drink until I ended up in hospital and that was the way it went for a number of years I used to have records that I used to like to listen to to put me in the mood for drinking the vodka <laughs> and um, I used to listen to a lot of Van Morrison and uh, Leonard Cohen and Billy Holiday and some really other miserable stuff and I used, I used to just cry looking at the cover of this album and Love 
Love will tear us apart again. Why is the bedroom so cold? Turned away on your side. Is my timing that flawed? Our respect runs so dry, but there's still this appeal that we've kept through the years. Desperation takes hold, but then it's something so good I can't function no more. And love, love will tear us apart. It's called oh, an. E oh, oh, you're yeah. willing to explain? It's called, yeah. it's called an Ebo. Uh, oh, I can talk loudly. Because uh, <laughs> I'm a teacher. And uh, no, they were invented in the 1970s. And, um, Before Harry was born. Yes, of course. <laughs> Long time ago. Uh, so it has uh, a, a battery and it creates a magnetic field and you place that over the string and it makes the string. Vibrate. Vibrate. Oh. Other things that do It's not something I've found in my past. <laughs> 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 it used my... to buzz, but I took the buzz in. Oh, oh Harry. Beautiful. <laughs> okay. Any yeah. questions about the piano? <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to thank Paul for the piano. Paul Jeffries, where is he? I've never met him. Oh, there you are. Thank you for the piano. And did you provide the rest of the... Thank you very much. I think I have to stand up for this song because um, it's completely 
Fucking uh, miserable. <laughs> <laughs> as far as like, make down, make down, make down, make down. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, so I recorded an album called The House of Ill Repute, and um, the songs on it are uh, not cheerful. Um, it's a, a house, and there's 13 songs on the CD, and each room of the house is inhabited by a woman who's telling the story of how she got there, so there's songs about pornography and sex trafficking, and I'm not finished. <laughs> Murder, pornography, sex trafficking, child abuse, suicide, heroin addiction, and... Sorry, ex-husbands. <laughs> so, um, it's quite a good one about my second ex-husband there, but we won't go there right now. Oh, no, and we'll do this one first. This is... <laughs> Guess which this one is. Jeff gave me this stuff the other day because I had a sore throat. What is that? Oh, it's Jeff. I don't know, it's a Jeff. Oh, Jeff. Jeff. You know Jeff? Oh yeah, he was here at dinner. And uh, for, um, it's called, what is it? White Sage... <coughs> Arousal. 
<laughs> what? <laughs> I have some. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so my second ex-husband uh, was called Frank Balladio, and um, we have two children to get married. We had two children together, and <clears throat> after 16 years of that, we got married. And seven months after he got married, he told me he'd been shagging our babysitter for two years. <clears throat> so I quickly beat his head off the wall <laughs> and uh, left him, and um, so that was very traumatic, then he had a baby with Sinead O'Connor, which was even more fucking traumatic, so there was absolutely no going back <laughs> after that. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, uh, Eric Visser and I had been working together for years, and I rang Eric and I said, this is what has happened, and I, he said, what are you going to do? I said, I'm going to fucking New Zealand, to get as far away from as I can. And Tom and, and Eric flew there too, and Tom and Eric and I worked very hard on this song, <coughs> Um, which was written by Eric's ex-wife. When she left him, she went to New Zealand 20 years previously and she fucked off to Antarctica on a boat from Lickerton. And she wrote this song and she didn't have an opening couple of lines for it, so I provided the opening lines, um, which will, you will probably notice are different from all the other lines. <laughs> and you'll probably be able to... Anyways, I hope I can sing this. I'll take a drink of water. And uh, here we go. Mm. You alright, Tom? Mm. My heart it is Antarctica Iced water chills my veins my disembodied voice calls you a hundred thousand names. You lying bastard, whoring fraud. You rotten, stinking cheat. I thought you were my haven Now I drown in your deceit I'm cast adrift to wander Through the memories of that life Recalling a game in which I was your wife. Now I am tossed and battered by the catabasic wind and constantly reminded. You're no more my next of kin. My heart is his Antarctica, so deep beneath the snow, and under miles of crushing white. Where no mortal man can go Beating once in every year Sending shockwaves through the ice An occasional reminder Of my suspended life And in the chill of evening Of an everlasting day A parade of icebergs Goes on its way And as I gaze and wonder they recede into the blue 
and paint a pretty picture I no longer think of you Thank you. Thank you very much. So um, a woman told me once after I sang that song that she'd pray for me, that God would forgive me for saying such horrible things about the father of my children. And she, she wrote me a letter and everything, and she said she was going to say the rosary every evening. For me. <laughs> Did it work? Yeah, it's gotten a little bit less angry over the years. Um, so, okay, so this is a song called Ancient Rain, and um, times in Ireland long ago, five, six thousand years ago, we had um, sacred sites. They're still there, a lot of them. And um, I actually gone home on the 2nd of May to do um, a big um, festival there called Balthana, which uh, we people gathered in Ireland at times of the equinox and the... Um, the other things, the uh, solstices, <clears throat> and they lit fires. They came from all over Ireland to this one place called Tara, and their burial uh, grounds are there, and apparently we may even have sacrificed a thing or two, <clears throat> and um, ate ma uh, magic mushrooms, apparently, uh, whatever was growing in the ground uh, was eaten, and whatever people made for amusement, I don't know. But they danced around fires and they kept going for about three days generally. <clears throat> so this song is about uh, a night called Ihesawan, which is the beginning of winter. And the Catholic Church got hold of it and called it All Souls Night. And All Saints Day was the next day. And my mother died on Halloween. And so did my good friend and pianist for some nine years. <clears throat> and so uh, we think about those people. Summertime has almost gone And every clock an hour put down Last night we danced and merry maids Under the full moon madness played An older witch, he danced with me Later, he sat on my knee A fiddler flashed his fiddler's grin To hell and back, from lock to chin The witch was clean Pushed off my knee by one born one day after me. We went home with lock and key. He left me in the morning. I slept on till one o'clock. My head felt like a concrete block I drank some whiskey, I drank it hot On the first day of winter Times. The past and present 
now in rhyme Two hands that squeeze my life away On this the holy all saints day Tom and I are going to do this song. Um, it's about what? Oh, we do need him. We need what? We need him a lot. Oh, don't go. I'm not going. I'm going to give him closer. Oh fuck! Three more room up here. <coughs> okay, this one is. Um, it, it's getting on time for us to kind of wind down now, so we'll do a few more songs. I would like to thank you all for coming out tonight. Thank you very, very much. And I'll see you again. This one's about domestic violence. <laughs> Not funny. I remember when we were sweethearts. I was safe with you You were my protector Those days are over Now I need someone Someone to keep 
drugs as well. Right. None of them fucking any good really. Well, antibiotics and stuff. Anyway. So, so um, everyone, we're soldiering on. Um, this is a song that Long John Baldry wrote and um, it was really heavily edited when it was released in America years ago. And uh, I had the great pleasure of meeting him at a festival in Italy. He came off the airplane with two walking sticks <coughs> and behind him was John Mayall. <coughs> and the saxophone are listening to these guys in here. We, we had marvellous fun. And um, there you go. Here's the go. So uh, thank you very much for coming out. And uh, yeah, hope to see you again, Mr. Tom Rainey on the piano. <laughs> Ali Harrison on the guitar. <laughs> and Jamie for having his sitting room sessions. <laughs> This 
dances around all night in bars Old men took crews after them in cars And the pretty girls who like to smell of flowers Old women love to play with them for hours The gays are straight, the straights are queer And the boys just call everybody dear You know, a thrill's a thrill A thrill's a thrill Thrill. A thrill's a thrill.